Hello guys and welcome back to a brand new episode in Arizona Adventure Park and welcome back to our Indonesian islands that we began to build in the last episode. In the last episode I built this nice and beautiful big habitat for the Babirusa which is a very underrated animal uh, amongst Planet Zoo players I think. Not many of you guys built habitats for the Babirusa I think. Yeah, so what I wanted to do here on this Indonesian islands was give those animals that don't get that much attention in the game a little platform and build something for them. So in today's episode, which is going to be a tiny episode, we are going to build a new habitat for the Komodo dragons that are also an uh, animal that lives on, uh, I think it's only on one island in Indonesia that is the Komodo Islands. That's where the name is coming from, Komodo Dragon. Yeah. Um, yeah, we also have to finish our building, our staff building and the building with the indoor areas for our Babirusa and um, yeah, the shared indoor habitat for the Babirusa and the Komodo dragon. Um, shared, not in that sense that they can get together. That wouldn't be a great idea, I think. Um, so um, <laughs> we might not uh, have Babirusas after that, um, but they share the same building. Yeah, so what I was doing is, um, yeah, I'm using the same fences that we already had for the Babirusa and I also used inflationary, uh, I hope that is a correct word, um, those faux rock trees on the backside of the habitat to make it look nice and cohesive and um, to line it up with the habitat of the other animals. So that is something that you're going to see around very often when we are going to build this Indonesian island section here in the zoo. Um, yeah, as I said, I wanted this whole area to be a representation of all the animals that are not that much loved um, from the Planet Zoo creators and uh, players. And um, yeah, so we started with the Babirusa. We are uh, building for the Komodo Dragon today. Um, I usually wanted to have five different habitats on this island area, but I decided I really want to build a habitat for the Malayan tapir here. And um, the habitat that I painted on the terrain would be a little bit too small for the Malayan taper, I think. So I decided I wanted it to um, be combined with the habitat for the proboscis monkey. So we're going to have only four habitats on the island. I also was thinking about the fifth animal that we are going to have here and I wasn't quite sure which animal it would be. Um, so um, I thought we might build, and I hope uh, it was the same that I was telling you in the last episode, um, I think we are going to build for the Malayan sun bear. Um, as we don't have any bears in our zoo and uh, there's not going to be bears in the zoo as we are going to finish after we um, yeah after we finished the Indonesian islands there's only going to be two or three more habitats and then we are done with this zoo yeah, also great news. Um, it looks like um, the lay designer will do a tour after we finished Arizona Adventure Park. So that is something that you can look forward. At least um, she told me on Twitter that uh, she's going to do a tour and she's waiting patiently uh, until I finally finish this whole thing here. So that is something that I'm looking very much forward to. Um, yeah, there's also coming some uh, great stuff and some new stuff to the channel in the future. Um, 
I'm uh, when you are watching this video I'm in Nuremberg I hope I pronounced it correctly in uh, in English and uh, do the next real life zoo tour there and um, yeah which is which is going to be really great because Nuremberg has uh, so many animals that you don't see that often in uh, in zoos like the manatees, uh, bottlenose dolphins and um, yellow back dukas, uh, cape buffaloes and um, yeah many 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 more so um, I hope you guys uh, are as excited as I am. Um, I have been, I haven't been in uh, this zoo since uh, two or three years now, so I'm very excited what has uh, what has changed there, and uh, what's new there, and I'm very excited to show you guys. Um, yeah, and we are also going to have a franchise series in uh, this, um, yeah, on my channel. Um, after I'm coming back from the United States and um, after we have finished Arizona Adventure Park there's definitely going to be at least one franchise series. Um, I hope you guys like that and um, I hope you guys were watching it. Yeah, and there's um, so many so many great stuff uh, happening right now. Um, I think I might have mentioned it before, um, but I, um, yeah, I quit my job, and um, I already can feel some sense of uh, of freedom right now, and I'm so so happy that I made this decision, and I'm looking forward to something great and new, some great new opportunities, and uh, yeah, some some personal and um, professional growth so um, yeah good things are are coming my way I guess yeah as you can see um, I made those whole roof situation and uh, the whole decoration um, situation with the new building or the staff building and the indoor areas for our animals very very simple I just continued building those reed roofs um, that I already built for the stable of the okapi so I uh, just put those reed roofs on top of it um, put some wooden posts on the side of it um, to give it a little bit of support and uh, yeah here we are it is finished and it looks great and um, fits perfect in uh, in the area um, especially um, as it connects perfectly with the indoor area for the okapi yeah just putting down some more trees and bushes and greenery for the habitat of the dragons not too much of that and I um, yeah I also mentioned it in my um, German video in Swamp Lake Zoo that is coming out on Wednesday for the Chowalski horse if you have animals or if you build a habitat for animals that don't like that much of greenery in the habitat especially when you build in franchise mode where you have to take care of that as well um, you can um, you can cheat a little bit by not putting too much of the plants inside of the habitat but put it outside on the back side of the habitat so um, behind the fencing um, it will have this, uh, the same or a similar effect for your eyes as you don't have this plain and uh, um, I can find the word you have those plain and uh, sad ha empty habitat um, as you put some trees outside of it like I do here with those fig trees and as you can see it makes quite the difference 
it makes the whole thing look like it was a little bit more overgrown it also gives the whole habitat uh, the look at is uh, at as if it was bigger than it actually is so uh, that is something that you absolutely can do especially when you have something like um, a concrete wall or something on the backdrop of your habitat just put some huge and big trees behind that so uh, the wall will almost disappear or it gives the viewer the feeling that there is a huge forest behind that huge rainforest or a boreal forest or whatever area that you're building in yeah just some more animal education i was all uh, i was almost saying um animal enrichment yeah that's the word what i was looking for um uh, some food enrichment and some toy enrichment for our animals and um, yeah we almost finished for the Komodo dragon so as I said this is going to be a very very short episode um, but yeah um, there's also going to be a new episode for Waveland Park finally um, as I skipped a week um, yeah, because I wanted to build a habitat for the American beaver and I just couldn't come up with some ideas. I was uh, I was looking at the park and at the space where I wanted to build the habitat and I just uh, didn't have any inspiration. I didn't know what to build or how to build it. And um, so I said, okay, God, um, I'm just waiting another week maybe uh, some inspiration will come and uh, yeah in the end it worked out and uh, so we do have a beaver habitat now in Waveland Park so if you would like to watch that I'm very happy to welcome you to this beautiful park check it out on my channel there's going to be a new episode of Waveland Park this Saturday definitely and uh, also the uh, the real life zoo tour in Nuremberg is going to be online on my channel I think on on Friday or on Sunday um, yeah whenever I will be able to finish um, yeah to edit and um, to cut the video yeah so we are almost at the end of the video so um, what's going to come next in Arizona Adventure Park as I was telling you guys um, the next habitat that we are going to build is the co-joint habitat for the Malayan tapir and the proboscis monkey so uh, that at least is the plan right now um, and um, yeah I think we're going to do that in the next episode and then there's only one more episode left until we finish this island um, which is going to be the habitat for the Malayan sun bear and as I said afterwards we are going to have just three no it's going to be at least four more habitats because we want to build for the Uranutan, the Siamang, the um, Capuchin, uh, capuchin monkeys and uh, also habitat for the bongos um, and so I guess it's going to be yeah six six or seven more episodes until the zoo here is finished which is quite bittersweet for me because I really 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 love to build here and um, I had so many more plans in here but um, yeah I'm also looking forward to something completely new and I hope you guys are excited for that as well yeah here you can see the space where the habitat for the uh, proboscis monkey and the Malayan tapir will be and now we're going to have a little tour and watch our animals so um, yeah as we are at the end of the video once again guys if you like the video hit the like button hit the subscribe button and if you want to tell me something um, yeah just leave a comment as well 
<laughs> okay, guys, um, that's it for today's episode, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. And we will see you next Monday again when we again build on the Indonesian islands in Arizona Adventure Park. So, thanks for watching. Bye, guys.